Now that we have a low poly terrain and inclusion choline working, the next thing we need to do to make this look pretty okay is add some water. Now you can go into Blender and take a plane, de subdivide it, decimate it, displace it, and get something that looks pretty okay water-wise. And that works. That's what I did for my first game. Uh, for my second game, I was looking for a little bit higher quality water. Um, and what I've chosen to use is an asset off the asset store, uh, very creatively called Low Poly Water. It's fairly cheap, $7. Um, it's got great ratings and it looks really very, very nice. So let's take a look at how we do that. I've already downloaded and imported the Low Poly Water asset. Um, come in here and we go to Prefabs. And we're just gonna do, uh, I'm gonna grab this one, waves, uh, low quality, eh, let's go high quality. I'm gonna drop that in, okay? And I can zoom in and there's my water. If I look in the inspector, um, there's a script that's running this. This is a procedural, uh, procedurally generated um, mesh. And at first I looked at this and I didn't really like it. I saw, oh, all the shapes are all the same size. Yeah, yuck, I don't like that. Um, but when I played around with this some more, I think this may be the right height here. Move this around. Okay. When I played with this some more, I realized I could size this up quite a bit. And there's two ways I'm gonna be able to do that. First here in the script, I can size this up. So maybe let's do 50 by 50. Now I'm just come back and change this. Um, you can also choose here whether it's uh, hexagonal or square. Maybe uh, square makes sense for what we have here. Um, and the next way I can scale this up is to grab my scaling tool and scale it up. I'm gonna kind of center that one and scale it up. I'm gonna get it to go quite a ways beyond my terrain. Um, so the player won't be able to see the edge of it. Now when I look in on this, that uniform size and shape kind of disappears. It's not very noticeable. And looks pretty good. I'm gonna grab my first person controller, um, zoom in here, and we're gonna go closer down the water and see what this looks like. Let's push play and see what we got. If I do it like this, you can see I've got some nice edge detection there. And it looks pretty good. It might The polygons might be a little too small. I can see some wave action going on. The water's moving. It looks pretty good. I've got a nice low poly setup. Let's take a look at what that looks like when we're up top. Sure I'm not clipping. And you can see, I've got something that looks like a pretty nice ocean. If I don't like the size of things, it's easy to change, easy. The one thing that I don't like about this asset, um, my one complaint is that this uh, procedural mesh is not very tileable, meaning I can't stick them next to each other and they work up, they um, connect seamlessly. Um, which is a problem in that there's a huge number of vertices that are on the screen right now um, in terms of this water, and the computer is drawing all of them. This doesn't work very well with occlusion culling. Now maybe your scene doesn't have an ocean and it's just small lakes, and so it's a non-issue. Um, I haven't found a workaround for this. Um, it hasn't killed my performance too much, um, so I'm living with it right now because I like the way it looks. Um, and again, if you want to change the settings, you can change your color. You want blue, you can change your opacity, how transparent it is, specular. Um, you can come down here, you can change your waves, how big they are, how fast they are. Um, your shore blend, which is that white line that we saw around the water. You can change the size of it, make it big, make it small. Um, you can change the color of it. <laughs> Not sure why, what color do you want to change it to, but the white, the default color looks pretty good. You can even turn it off if you don't like it. Um, if you are doing a game that is third person, um, when you walk through the water, uh, this um, 
shore uh, color shows up around your feet. If you have rocks that are in the water, this also shows up around it. It will uh, show up whenever the water uh, encounters another mesh. So it's a pretty good asset, $7, very much worth it. Um, I think it's a must have if you're gonna try to create a good looking low poly game.